Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and this movie is directed by Steven Spielberg and stars Richard Dreyfuss, and it was kind of disappointing for me, unfortunately, and uh, I do like Steven Spielberg movies, and I was hoping that this one was going to be a fun adventure, but unfortunately, what this movie was, kind it was kind of that, but at the same time... There was a lot of the movie where it was just people talking and it just wasn't very interesting. And I didn't really find a lot of the characters to be interesting, which was a big problem for me. And because of that, it did make a lot of these scenes really dull. And when it came to my own personal experience while watching this movie, I enjoyed half of it. I was entertained and it was kind of fun, but the other half was really dull and boring and I could barely pay attention to it. There were good performances in this movie, and no one stood out to me as bad. I thought the special effects were very well handled, and they always looked great, and even to this day, they look good. And it's honestly about as good as Star Wars, if not better, and I really enjoyed that element of the film. And the spaceships that you see in the movie, they're not in the movie a lot, but I do like the design, even if it is kind of basic. And there were some fun directions that the movie went in, and I liked where it was going for some scenes. It was kind of an adventure, and that's what I wanted out of this movie, was an, an adventure, and it to be fun. But... What it is, basically, is just E.T., but uh, done differently. And I know this movie came out before E.T., but unfortunately, I'm just uh, not really a fan of E.T., for those who don't know. And uh, for this movie to be kind of have a somewhat similar structure in ways, then that's kind of disappointing for me. And there wasn't really anything all too different uh, for me from an emotional experience and... Uh, that was kind of upsetting, and there were some characters in this movie that I found to be kind of annoying, like the little kid, uh, Barry, I think his name was, he was a bit annoying, and the attempts at comedy for me just never worked out, and I never once laughed, really, and I liked uh, some uh, things that they did with our main character, like, there were a couple things about him that made him stand out, and... I liked that, but aside from that, uh, our main character just really isn't all that compelling for me. And I do think that there are too many characters in this movie, and it really hurts the pacing for me, and I do think this movie is way too long for what it is, and it could have been a half an hour shorter, and it would have been much better for me. And the main reason why I wished it was shorter is because a lot of scenes in this movie just felt very repetitive to me and it didn't really feel as though much was being progressed and the overall adventure that you're supposed to get out of this movie for me personally it doesn't really get started until like an hour through the movie and a lot of it is just introducing and setting things up like that's what it's supposed to do great but what I'm looking for doesn't really start until an hour through the movie, and that's where I take issue with it. And before I go on any longer, I just need to specify for those who don't know, this movie has three versions, and it came with all three, this copy that I got. And there was the theatrical cut, there was the special edition, and the director's cut. And I didn't really know the differences between the three cuts, because I was uh, struggling to find it on the back here, and then I looked it up, and I was having trouble figuring that out, and then I took a closer look after the movie was finished, like, on the back, and there it told me. And the difference between the theatrical and special edition is that the special edition is three minutes shorter, and the director's cut is two minutes longer than the theatrical cut. And I have no idea what the differences are, but I felt, thought I should at least mention that to you because it's kind of important <laughs> as to which version I watched. But unfortunately, I don't think uh, watching a different cut of the movie is going to change anything for me that much because my main issues of the movie are at its core. And when that's the case, unless uh, the movie isn't changed entirely, there isn't really much you can do about that. 
so you can add in some extra scenes or take out some unnecessary scenes but by the end of the day that's kind of just icing on the cake and the cake itself isn't really all that special to me and the music in the movie it worked for what the movie was going for but I'm not really gonna remember this movie for the music unfortunately and there were points at the film like not throughout the entire film but there were points where I tried to be a horror movie kind of and it didn't really land for me because it was a little predictable as to what it was going for like seeing all of oh not all of but a lot of Steven Spielberg movies and what I've come to expect from his movies and it did make the film a bit predictable as to where it was going. I'm not saying that uh, he's not allowed to have a way of making films that he likes. I'm just saying that because I knew where it was going and I'm not really in love with the core of the film, it kind of hurts the movie. And I like that he has a style and he's putting in efforts to make a good movie. And like, there's things to appreciate appreciate about the film for sure. It's well shot, and it's it's just uh, my issues with the movie mostly come with the script. And that's about all I have to say about uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It was all right. It, I, I think I like it in ways. I, I kind of more admire it more than I enjoyed it. And I'll probably watch this movie again just to watch uh, the different versions of this movie. That's really all the value I have uh, towards it. And who knows, maybe watching it, uh, those other versions might uh, make me appreciate the theatrical cut a bit more, or maybe I'll, this movie will start to grow on me. Who knows? That has happened with Apocalypse Now. Like the first time I watched that, I watched the, the, the theatrical cut, sorry. And then I watched the other two versions, Redux first and then Final Cut. and. After watching those two versions, it gave me some appreciation for the film and also the theatrical cut specifically. And then it became one of my favorite movies. And maybe something like this will happen with this movie. And I'm hoping that's going to happen, but we'll see. Only time will tell. With all that being said, I'm going to give Close Encounters of the Third Kind a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Close Encounters of the Third Kind and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Casino, directed by Martin Scorsese, so look forward to that. But until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.